When you think of the natives of Japan, you likely imagine the common characteristics typical of East Asian people, but wouldn't you be confused if I told you that the erstwhile natives of the North wouldn't resemble this at all? Now many people forget that throughout early Japanese history, and even into later Japanese history, the northern part of the archipelago would be populated by the Amishi, and then later pushed into the northern island, the Ainu natives of similar relation. Though an extremely small population today, these odd looking natives were a major tribal force at one point. Amishi literally translate the hairy people, as these natives grew thick facial and body hair, uncharacteristic of Japonic peoples. Characterized by a European nose and eyes, this culture actually developed in the northern Japanese archipelago and is in reality genetically similar to the aborigines tribes of Taiwan. Due to their appearance, many anthropologists expected a European origin, which was disproven. Still, these tribes puzzled people around the world for a long time, and just how couldn't they? They're just so strange looking at first glance. In reality, upon further examination, you can see that they do share a lot of similarities with the main Japanese people, and are in fact cousins of them. During the days of ancient Japan, we see the Yamato Kingdom as the primary power on the island. In fact, the main Japanese people of the island are still known today as the Yamato. Many Amishi would trade with the kingdom, and others would even ally themselves. Amishi emissaries to China would greatly amuse the courts there with their unusual appearances. These people would continue to exist on the northern island, independently living their traditional lifestyles well into the Tokugawa period. Unfortunately, after the Meiji Restoration in the mid-1800s, Japan would annex the northern island, as the Ainu were the antithesis of the new call for westernization and encouragement of modern lifestyles. Today, there is estimated to be a little over 20,000 ethnically Ainu people left in Japan. However, due to the fact that likely most of them are ignorant of their heritage, some estimate this number to be much higher, even up to 200,000. Whatever the case may be, this still nonetheless changes our common idea of a perfectly homogenous Japanese people. Alright, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I would just like to thank everyone for all the nice comments I've gotten on my videos so far. You know, it's nice that people are generally interested in the stuff I'm talking about. So, uh, see you guys next video.